So electronics can be really, really fun to play with. And there's lots of things that are conductive. And one of the things that's conductive is Play-Doh because it has a whole lot of salt in it, which makes it kind of fun to play with. So all we need to get an electric circuit to happen, what is some power and, a, and an output. So here we have a light and here we have a, a battery and there we go and that's it so because of the salt in the play-doh it's conductive which means that we can use it as part of the circuit um this is kind of a cool led doesn't matter if we which way around we have it it's bi-colored so it'll work either direction so you can't get that wrong you can also make non-conductive Play-Doh. So using a Play-Doh recipe, uh, rather than using salt, you use sugar and sugar isn't conductive. So you can have a play with that if you'd like to at some stage. This morning I was playing with stuff, as you do. And when I was thinking about Play-Doh, it's like, okay, so Play-Doh is conductive because it has lots of salt in it. So, I read something and um, was looking for sort of the best vegetable and I tried a potato. Eh, it wasn't great. I mean, it worked, but not that well. But the other thing that became really obvious that has lots of salt in it is actually Vegemite. So he goes with the Vegemite. I thought bread would make kind of a really good breadboard. <laughs> and then my daughter pointed out that that was a really bad pun. Okay, so these are little LEDs. These have a positive and negative side. So the long side is the positive side. The short side is the negative side. So if we put more than one in, we need to make sure that, that they're the same way around. I think our red line is our positive line. So, all right, so the long one goes to the center. There we go. So then it's how many can we actually use? a little bit lighter. And these are colour change LEDs, so they look pretty cool. Okay, we might nearly be getting to the limits of the amount of power that we have available.